Hi, it's Jean Kuhn, and today I want to welcome my guest, Dave Dewar. Dave's from Tax-Free Retirement Solutions, and he's an independent life insurance agent. Dave has been a financial and retirement specialist for 25 years. Dave creates unique strategies for his clients to put their money in tax-free buckets instead of taxable and tax-deferred buckets. Boy, don't we all want to do that. Dave has been has a background as a mortgage broker, a real estate agent, and a real estate investor. Dave's a single guy. He enjoys his free time by reading, jogging, lifting weights, and walking his cute little dog, Lucky. Wonder why he's called Lucky. Uh, Dave also volunteers at his local church by feeding the homeless and various ministry activities. Dave, thanks so much for being here with me today. How are you? Good. Great to be with you today, Jean. I am so excited to talk to you because you know this you know this sort of stuff is kind of can be kind of dry, right? Absolutely. I, I know you really like to try to find a way to make this a little bit more enjoyable for people. Um and we won't even go into that part today, right? Um okay. but I think that it's important that people get to know somebody that they can trust when it comes to their money. Now you have got like a background that is not a virtual background, let's just say that. That is a background of everything that you teach people about. So I want you to really very simply explain to me what it is you do. Well, Gene, most people, they're accumulating wealth and a lot of people, they'll start out a job, they might work for a company and what they do is as they save money, they might save eight, 10% of their paycheck and they'll put that money into the tax deferred bucket, hoping one day when they retire, they'll have enough money that they can live on for retirement. Unfortunately, they find out when they need the money most and they withdraw the money, that it's all gonna be taxable by the Uncle Sam, by Uncle Sam. So what's going on right now is with the coronavirus and all the deficits here throughout the country and the states and the cities, that taxes, most people feel they're gonna go up. And if they're not positioning their money now into the tax-free bucket, then they're going to get hit hard on the back. So you're going to pay taxes. The question is, are you going to pay taxes on the seeds or the harvest? What I encourage people to do is to pay taxes on the front end, the seeds, and then when they accumulate all that mass amount of wealth, they have the, um, the, the harvest is tax-free. And there's different strategies to do that. Uh, in my industry, I started out because my father passed away at the age of 39 and I was only eight. I had three older brothers uh, and my mom raised us and we didn't have the a proper amount of coverage for life insurance. So we could have had 150,000 instead of uh, or 15,000. We only had opposed to 150,000 and my mom struggled. So when I got into the industry 25 years ago, it, my heart's really to make sure no family experiences what I go through, but what's happened over the last 12 to 15 years, the industry has changed and people are not aware, and that's my job to let them know that you can utilize life insurance also for tax-free income and for living benefits. So those are the key things that I do is educate people. What bucket are you in and how can we position you into the tax-free bucket without you taking too much of a taxable burden on the front end? and we can do that systematically so you can live the tax-free life. Well, what are, what are the biggest um, concerns your clients have when they come to you to discuss retirement and finances? What I see, Gene, is people are extremely concerned about, well, I have enough. The worst thing somebody can do is they'll have their working years, you know, they might be 62, and they're like, you know what, I'm fed up with this, or I wanna retire, you know. So it's like, well, you know, should I wait three years? Should I wait till I'm 65? And sometimes what happens with people is they'll retire too early because they didn't uh, figure out a proper plan and then they have remorse because they can't go back, right? They, right. they utilize. So the thing is, their concern is, well, I have enough money accumulated. Secondly is, you know, with that money, will that last me long enough through my lifespan? You know, how long am I going to live? 85, 90, 95? Also, you have to combine Social Security, you know, and I talk about, you know, that. So that's the second thing. Will I outlive my money? And then the third thing is, if I'm getting this cash flow, which looks like it's good now, if, it's, if it was in the tax deferred bucket, 
how much taxes will be eaten up over that 25, 30, 40 years in their retirement. So those are the three key things that I need to address. Will I have enough or will they have enough? Will it uh, last them long enough through the retirement? And is the government going to get their hands on it? Or if they live in the tax-free bucket and solve the other two, that will solve their problem all the way around. So, well, tell me more about that. How, what are the tools you give people to, to know what they're supposed to do? Well, what I'll do is typically is I'll do an evaluation and it depends on their age, their situation and see where they're at. And somebody has a, uh, a financial freedom number that might be a number, a target number to retire. So they might say, you know, it used to be 10 years ago, a million dollars. And they would use something called the 4% rule if your money was in, you know, the stock market, but now it's like the 2% rule. So the question is, how, you know, how much money will they need, but also how much income will they need? So that's kind of where I'm unique as I look at their income. And then secondly is, uh, you know, what strategies can we use? People, sometimes they have their money all over the place. It might be in CDs, it might be in 401ks. So they have their money in different buckets. And my job is to find out where they're at, how much have they accumulated, and how close are they to that target number, the amount, and how much do they need to hit that target income. And that's where I'm able to do that evaluation and utilize the different strategies to accomplish, accomplish that. So a lot of times people don't realize they can utilize properly structured, low-costing uh, life insurance. Uh, I utilize something called an index universal life, which is incredible right now to do if it's properly structured. Um, also, too, is something called fixed index annuities, where a lot of people, a lot of the clients, they have their monies in CD, certificate of deposits, which I call certificate of depression, because the interest rates are so low. And uh, they're happy because it's insured through FDIC up to 250,000 per account. But what people don't realize is if they get a fixed index annuity, it'll often give them twice the amount of income and it's secured through an insurance company, which has incredibly higher regulations to have their um, coverage. They use something called triple X. So they need over 100% of whatever monies that they're insuring compared to FDIC, which is two and a half percent. So those are some of the strategies that I'm able to show people that they'll have enough money, it'll last them through retirement, and they'll be able to have that guaranteed income for the rest of their life and preferably all in the tax-free bucket. So as you're telling me this, I'm wondering, do most financial, I would, I would, you're a financial registered financial agent, right? Um, do most fi registered financial agents tell their clients this or and or do they just sell them life insurance well it depends the thing is is i was a registered advisor uh and i parked my license and i was frustrated when we had the big crash in 2008 and then we just had the recent one uh there's something called 12b1 fees so or funds under management and if an investment advisor's sole concern is to get enough clients where they can generate an income stream let's say they have $10 million under management and they get one half of 1%, that's a couple hundred thousand dollars. And there are good ones out there that I'll say, hey, you, you know, get your money out of the market, put it into cash. But there's other ones out there that are concerned only with income stream. As far as the concept that I utilize, most of them don't utilize it. They might, uh, they typically will suggest putting their money into the market and putting it into the tax deferred bucket. Uh, the, the, the challenge with that, the problem with that is it's always exposed to the market, A, and then B, on the back end, when they need the money, they'll be taxed. So the key here is to have a balance. I mean, I don't ever, uh, you know, tell somebody you shouldn't have money, you know, in the market, but you should have the predominant amount of your money sheltered from Uncle Sam and pay taxes on the seeds and not the harvest. So I would say just speculating, maybe a small percentage of people in that industry really utilize these tools and explain them as I do to clients. What's the biggest thing you think clients don't know that if they knew it would change everything for them? Putting their money into the tax-free uh, Roth. So the thing is, is uh, I see a lot of clients and people are starting to catch on with that, but you have the traditional IRA and the Roth IRA. And with the Roth IRA, you pay taxes on the seeds, and then you can put in there, depending on your age, six or seven thousand dollars. 
but even a lot of business owners are not aware of the Roth 401k. And you can be a W-2 and a 1099. So for instance, I'll have somebody that's both households. One might be a teacher and the other one uh, may be like in the unions and they may make $160,000, $180,000. So they'll put the maximum amount into their Roths, but then they don't realize if they could have a business as a W-2, they can put up to twenty-five dollars to $30,000 per spouse into a Roth 401k. So now they're putting that money into a tax-free bucket as well. So that's a big one. Also, that they can utilize life insurance, preferably the index universal life. There's different types. There's whole life, variable, universal life. But this one, you keep the cost of the insurance down. And then on the back end, it's a cash cow. And, and what's so powerful about that is you're in control, not some company. And then also as well, what people are not aware of is when they fill out their financial aid form. I do that fast buzz because a lot of times people are uh, paying for their kids' college and they're risking their own retirement by going to them and showing them how to reposition their assets into life insurance or fixed index annuities. They can not only utilize it for their own retirement and be in the tax-free bucket, but they can also utilize it to get financial aid for their, for their kids as well. So these are concepts that people often are not aware of that I explain to them. Hmm. That's interesting. So tell me, um, you know, I always like a good story. So give me, you obviously no names, but tell me like the best story that you have of somebody you've helped. Now, whether it's been something that's, I'm, I'm okay if it's something that happened to them that was really bad or something that happened to them that was really good and how, how the outcome was. Well, I had, we, we just had a, a video challenge and it was kind of a it's, a, it's a sad and it's a happy story, okay? Because, you know, the thing is, is in my industry, you know, first off, I'll preface this as I tell you this story, is people think of life insurance as death insurance. And, and what's key with it is you have living benefits, okay? And if, if something happens to you, you have a heart attack, stroke, cancer, health issues, you can actually tap into that life insurance while you're alive to generate that money for those issues, okay? Mm -hmm. Now with this particular client, what happened was they had a lot of money into a 401k. And the gentleman, John, he was about say 50 years old. And we went around and around, usually the clients that are the tough ones that don't get the concept, usually end up being the best clients, you know, once they catch on. So he started pumping money into a uh, alternative uh, tax-free plan, which, which was an index universal life. So he was pumping thousands in there and he decided to retire early at the age of 61. So he had invested 11 years into it. And then he decided with his other pension and the trades to draw on that for tax-free income. So he was able to draw on that a substantial amount of money, $6,000. So tax-free, $72,000 a year, and he was able to do that for three years. He started it about five years ago. Unfortunately, he passed away two years ago, okay? But the three years while he was still alive, he was able to generate 70,000 a year, over $210,000. And because we structured him properly, his spouse, I went to meet her Sue, and I was able to deliver to her $600,000 tax-free to her. Wow. So he did everything right. He utilized it for living benefits, tax-free. And if he would have, let's just say, he would have, you know, lived much longer, he would have had that money coming to him to the age of 100, right? 100. So, and he was only 64. But then, of course, because he passed away, his spouse got the death benefit of $600,000. So that shows the power of leveraging that. Whereas if he just had that money, into the um, tax deferred bucket, the 200,000, well, the, actually it was just the cost of the uh, policy, which he had put in, I'd say over 11 years, $140,000. He would have only gotten that amount and it would have been taxable, whereas he uh, and his spouse got over $800,000 tax free. So that, that, that is definitely one of the uh, big success stories that I have. Wow, that's a great story. Um, I know you like to dabble in politics. Let's talk about that for a moment. You know, it's interesting, Gene. You know, I got uh, involved probably eight or nine years ago, and it, it kind of coincides with my business. 
because there's a um, uh, there's a website called usdebtclock.com or .org, usdebtclock.org, and yeah. it shows all the debts. And it's like 26 trillion of unfunded liabilities, and it's just it's astronomical. So when I started the tax-free concept. We had pizza, me and my friend Michael Della, and we had Uncle Sam with his hand out. And if you see here, Uncle Sam has his hand out. So I related it to politics. And I'm like, oh my goodness, these politicians are giving themselves raises and all of this. So I need to get involved because I can only help people to explain what's within law or the IRS tax code or concepts. But until we change our legislative officials, they're going to tax us to death, right? So, so that's kind of how I got involved in the process because of the fact that I, as time has gone on and we've accumulated more debt, that that is going to be critical to make sure we have the right people in office that are not only going to be covering their own family. I mean, how many times have we heard somebody goes in you know, the political arena and they have a minimal income and they come out a multimillionaire, right? Too and many. We hear that too many times. We hear that too many times. So the thing is, is I'd like to get involved in that process to make sure that our government officials are held to a higher standard because that not only influences the direction of our country, but also people's pocketbook. Uh, my concern right now with the coronavirus and other things is taxes are going to go up substantially. And what I encourage people to do, whether it's with me or whoever, is to make sure that they position themselves properly. Because if we look at the tax, um, income tax law that came out in 1913, 107 years ago, what happened was they said it was only for rich people. And then what happened, you know, higher income people. And then after a few years, they taxed everything. And unfortunately, that is going on here in Illinois, where they have a referendum in November called a progressive or a fair tax. And they're saying anyone that has a certain income threshold will pay eight three percent more instead of five percent they'll pay about eight percent on their income tax and my concern is if it passes that they'll amend the constitution and then everyone will be taxed so it so to answer your question yeah the, the political thing coincides with my business because i don't think it's fair and i think bottom line that if people are educated they're much better steward of their money than the government bottom line could not agree with you more. And I think that is a great place to end this interview is the people are a better steward of their money Absolutely. than the government is. Yes, and so that's the bottom line. What I do is at taxfreeretirementsolutions.com is to give you control. I facilitate you. I'm not a fee-based individual. If a company, I, I do business with somebody as an independent broker, that company compensates me. But my, you know, my, my, um, focus is on the client to make sure they're in control, they understand, and they're not being controlled by a corporation, by an institution, or the government, and they can retire in the tax-free bucket on their own terms, bottom line. Love that. How can people reach you? Uh, my contact number is 708-369-1150. Uh, and then also uh, my website is tax free retirement solutions.com and my name david or dave d war d e w a r dot com so there's multiple ways to contact so say that website again david d war yes david yes david d war my last name d e w a r dot com or dave d war d e w a r dot com the email is david at then my company tax free retirement solutions.com. Awesome. Dave, it has been eye opening and my Thank you, entertainment and joy to talk to you today.